Joe Stone, and we're quite fortunate. We're here at the Robin Tour in Wolverhampton, which is in the Midlands, right? Getting close to Birmingham. Is Absolutely. That correct? Is that correct? To the West, West Midlands. Yeah. The West Midlands. The West Midlands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As you can hear from my accent, I'm, you know, far into this land. Um, but anyway, I'm, I, you know, it's a legendary star-studded Joe's Deli. That's right, you know. And I'm here, you know, with Taz Taylor. You know, from the Taz Taylor Band, and you know, he's got a new record out called Nocturnal. The White sings on the track, so is that out already or it's coming yeah, out? Yeah, actually came out last July. Last July, so, alright, so that's out. It's been out so, for a while. Yeah, so, yeah, and you know, he's toured all over the place, you know, all over the world, and um, you know, quite quite successful. And the legendary Blaze Bailey. Thank you. Um, from Lost Bane, of course, I win, and Blaze has an amazingly successful solo career. His latest record, The War Within You, is, uh, is out, and um, and he's always out, you know. And some incredible side Oh, thank you. And, and, you know, thank you. It goes way, way back to my Elvis. Yeah, yeah. Presley influence yeah. is that having a lower voice or a baritone. We don't know what the my mum bought, we didn't have a TV when I was little, and my mum always bought records, we always had the radio or something like that. And uh, just those early Elvis records, just the influence, and then as you get older you go, why do I know this? And then suddenly there's a resonance there. And uh, so it's been an influence on me. A great thing that happened to me when I was on tour in the US with Maiden, we had a day off there near Graceland, and it, in Memphis is there, and I, and I went to Graceland and wandered around it. And the sense that you've been there, the, the sense of it is, well, you, okay, there's this amazing entertainer, but there's this incredibly generous yeah. person. All the awards like yeah. gifting to hospitals and schools and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. A huge part of this community is oh, yeah. very humbling. I found it, you know. I was looking forward to seeing more motorcycles because Elvis bought a Harley Davidson every year. He bought the new model. Harley Davidson, like, sadly, like that, got sold off and passed away. Well, they have, there's one section of Graceland when I went, they have like different tiers of the tour, you know what I mean? And they have the stand. I mean, it's, it's really amazing when you go in there. And um, and you know you go into like his parents' room and you see his mom's dress oh, yeah. hanging yeah. there, and then you go into the jungle room, of course, yeah. which is cool. And then you go downstairs where the TV's on, yeah. and, like you yeah. know, with like Mission Control, and um, it, it it is really like when you kind of walk in, if you're an Elvis man, which I also am, mm. yeah, you know, me too. and um, you know, you me too. With the fucking king, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, and you know, this kind of aura overcomes you, you know what I mean, when you're there. But it, but but it is. It is pretty amazing, but there's other, this other section where they had like this, um, where they had a section with a bunch of his cars, like that black yeah, Ferrari yeah, yeah, had, yeah. and you know, a couple bikes, but not, but yeah. not many, you know what I mean? It was a cool thing, I even went on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so, yeah. so, so that was badass. Yeah. I'm glad it's, I mentioned the sidebones. Yeah, yeah it, it's, it's nice so to see that intro. in music, there are just some things that touch all of us, no matter what genre, no matter from what era, there's just some things, something that is really, truly great lasts. Yeah. And when, and when it becomes like, you know, people like Elvis, I mean, it becomes like a fabric of the, of the culture. Yeah. It transcends the actual art that it is. It just becomes part of the, the, the culture that everyone relates to. Yeah, I think it's, it's a sad that it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he'd still be doing great. Did you see the Elvis movie? Yeah, fantastic. It was amazing. Yeah, fantastic. I saw it three times already. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'm, I'm going to see it again. Yeah, I've got yeah. it, I, I read the uh, the book though. Is it Goldman's me? The, who wrote the book? The, and I, there's so much in that. And I've seen it in the movie and coming to life. And I thought it was such a, a great representation of this wonderful, generous, person that loved music but it was restricted by evil yeah. Oh, yeah. music and business yeah. mm. she never heard a bad thing about him though. Mm. there was no scandals about him no and you think through history of rock stars yeah i mean even john lennon and people like that there were scandals always yeah. something about it. he did this and somebody took it the wrong way 
But Elvis system is always a good thing. Yeah. In, uh, in Wolf Space, um, my old band were back together, we have a new album called Genius. Then that Elvis influence is always there in little bits and pieces. Um, when we'll be in the studio together and recording the vocals, it'll be like, oh, why don't you do it a bit, get, go a bit more Elvis, and I'll really lose yeah. control. Oh, 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 crazy, crazy stuff. And there's one bit that, that I did on, um, on one of our, our songs where I just built it and went so crazy, I lost, I didn't even have any lyrics made up for it or written for it, and I still don't, so they're sort of different every time that, that we do the song. It's a very cool influence, I think. And in my show that I, I take on tour and the thing that I do, what we have is no recordings and just we'll have a click track sometime, but nothing else. And always there's the thing that the intro to the song can can carry on or it can stop or be shorter or we can get together and just go, come on, quiet the band. If we feel there's a vibe in the room, if there's something going on. And that's really from that Elvis yeah. era, from the Vegas era, Elvis really. And seen a few of those old movies. Oh yeah, especially in the movie when, you're, when, you're, yeah. when, he's, yeah. when he's rehearsing. And he yeah, yeah. And, and, and the whole thing, that's like a, that's like a badass. It's so cool. Uh, for me, that's live music. So I do that in my own show. Yeah, so yeah. we'll go, we'll leave the intro going and, and start talking to people and then get the song going. And yeah, like, exactly. So it's, it's nice. like typing, you know, yeah. who the fuck wants to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, it's, it's gotta be in the moment. It's a nice... As uh, the king intended it. Yes, it's a nice way of doing things. I like it when things, they transcend the script. You've got, you play the songs every night, but then there's something that could happen. Something so, yeah. if your fans come and they've seen you three or four times on the tour, Something which you, I'm lucky enough that I have yeah. those kind of fans, then I'll see sometimes it's like, well, I didn't see that before last night. It's yeah. not, it's not all, special. yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, to, to, to explore that vibe and feel the energy of everybody. I think that's great. it's good. Yeah, well, it certainly keeps it fresh too. Yeah. Keep, you know, keeps the monotony out of touring and things.